It's gonna be, you're gonna be screaming bloody murder. The bikini line. Don't do it. No, 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 remember, we don't shave. Ooh, this lady right here. So relieve the blow. So if you're trying, if you need a video telling you how to make epilating less painful, this is the video for you, okay? I'm all about the less pain. Hey, I'm back. You miss me, you miss me. Did you not even notice I was gone? <laughs> Either way, welcome back to another video. Um, since I've been gone, the most asked question I get is about this lady right here. Ooh, this lady right here. So today's video is gonna be about the epilator, specifically the bikini line. We're talking below the belt today, below the belt. Five steps on how to use the epilator for your bikini line. That's it, it's gonna be short and sweet today. All right, so if you don't know what this epilator is, check the description lock. Blah, blah, blah. It's been a minute. I don't even know how to talk. If you don't know what the epilator is, check the description box below and I'll tell you about kind of like my first time ever using it review. If you want a one year review, because I think it's been about a little over a year now, let me know in the comments below. But first, I think since summer's coming up, we need to get to this bikini line. Okay, okay. So, number one is going to kind of be an oxymoron on how to use the epilator on your bikini line. Start by waxing. I know, I know. You're like, I don't understand. I'm supposed to use this. I suggest when you are very first using the epilator for your bikini line, start with the fresh landscape. Because if you just be going in there with the weeds, it's going to be, you're going to be screaming bloody murder. You're going to be crying. You're going to be screaming. You're going to be like, throw this in the trash can. So my suggestion, and this is just what I am choosing to do, the kind of more painless way, right? You can just go straight in there treat this like a weed whack and get in there but I say specifically for me and what I did to start using this on my bikini line is starting with the fresh wax now I don't plan on getting a wax anymore but when I first started I was like let's start with the fresh landscape now you might be asking should I shave don't do it no 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 remember we don't shave the reason why I specifically say wax is because it's grabbing it from the root so now when it starts growing back within seven days you're going to maintenance every seven days with those um it's less hairs grow back right compared to when you shave, all of them come in like, hey, we're here. So when they start growing back, that's when you go and use the epilator, okay? Few hairs at a time. We don't want to handle the whole party. So number one, start with the free landscape. And I say wax specifically because I want it to grow back like a wax and not a shave so that you are pulling less hairs the first time you want to start using this. Because um, if you go in with the amount of hairs that you have on now, that's every hair at the same time. For me, for me, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. So I started with the fresh wax and then once it was about I would say seven days seven to ten days once the hairs start to slowly grow back that's when we get to business of what we're going to maintain so that we never have to wax again step two now that your hair is starting to grow back now that we're never going to wax again and we're always going to use the epilator moving forward I say start with the trim first you're like wait the epilator is, is, is a different concoction on top. Yes. So just take this, press this button, take the epilator top off, and put this baby on. It is, I don't know if you can see, this is the trimmer. So this is the clear top on it, and it goes like this. I'm just going to place this on top, and it has a lock. Unlock it. I love that sound. So now, before you epilate, I say trim. The reason why I say trim is because, think about it this way. If anybody's ever, if, if you've ever pulled a hair from anywhere in your body, the longer it is, sometimes, most likely, the more it hurts. The smaller the hair, more likely, it's not going to hurt so much. So the reason why I say trim is because if hairs tend to be a little longer, if you're pulling with an epilator, it might hurt a little bit more. So trim them down a little low because the epilator is going to get, gonna get the, the short, short hairs. So go ahead and trim it. It doesn't have to be aggressively low, but just lower than it was compared to if it naturally was growing back. Okay? So that is tip number two. Trim, trim the bush, trim, trim the, trim the lady, trim the girl, trim the cat. Okay? I don't know what you want to call her. Just call her. I'm not going to give her a name today. You just know, you know what this video is about. Okay. Number three. One of your best friends from using the epilator is going to be baby powder. Or this one's called dusting powder because it's Burt's Bees is what I use because we ain't using no Johnson Johnson. If you don't know, you should know by now. No Johnson & Johnson. So just like in my epilator video, I talk about this one. Burt's Bees is organo, organic 
dusting powder, which is basically baby powder. So I set this on the skin kind of just like, like that, and I rub it. So anywhere I'm, I'm taking away hair, I don't know what it is. It kind of acts like a barrier. I don't know what it is, but I need, I need to always use baby hair, uh, baby hair, <laughs> baby powder first wherever I'm going, and then I use epilator on top. Um, I guess it just kind of dries it out a little bit, gets the hair easier to grip. Think about it, sometimes when you're pulling hair and it's like not completely like dry or oily, it just slips. So we just want it to get to the point. So use the baby powder on any part of your body. I use it for my underarms, my face, my bikini, anywhere I'm using the epilator, I'm using that dusting powder. For some reason, I feel like it softens the blow, softens the pull. All right, number four. It's time to use the epilator. It's time to use it. So, I take off the trimmer. You just press that one button. It's off. I still use my bumpers for the epilator because I believe you can take you can take this off. Oh. So this is still You ever go bowling in your bumpers? This is still my bumpers. I don't use the direct blade like this is if you just want to go in aggressive there's some epilators you can buy like this and you get in there aggressive straight in there but I still need my bumpers to relieve the blow so if you're trying if you need a video telling you how to make epilating less painful this is the video for you okay I'm all about the less pain so I might even use these bumpers to the day I die okay it's just like once again I don't know how to describe it it kind of softens the blow it's like a barrier so it doesn't get it's like, mm, you know? So anyways, and then I can press as hard as I want when I have this on top. Here, you might want to just like lightly graze. But when you have this on top of the epilator, um, I don't, you don't call it a blade, whatever you want to call it. I feel like I can press as hard as I want because it's that barrier between me and the epilator. Okay, so anyways, I say that to say, now that your hair is slowly growing back and you've trimmed any long hairs and you didn't put this on backwards, if you ever want to know how it goes, there's an arrow here and an arrow here. The arrows just face each other. Ay, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. I did it. Okay. So anyways, I, for the bikini, start with level one. That's like baby powder that came off. Level two, I use for my underarms and sometimes my face because these, chair, these tears on my chinny chin chin. We don't talk about that another day. And also let me know in the comments below if you want to just know a general review of this after a year or like specifically how I epilate my face or specifically how I epilate certain parts of my body. But the bikinis, you know, it's what we're here for today. So when you're using the epilator, there are different directions. I always suggest first going the same direction as your hair, same direction, same direction, level one, okay? Once you feel like, all right, we're ready to step it up, I need to get to those other stubborn hairs, then you need to go sideways, sideways, okay? And you want to always like pull and then go and pull and then use the epilator, right? You don't want like loose skin because it won't grab, so like tighten the skin by pulling it, whatever it is. So if I was epilating right here, I would pull, then use the epilator. You hear it here, pull, then use the epilator. Same thing with the bikini down below. Okay, um, and then so after you go same direction, you go sideways, and last but not least, the way that's going to hurt the most, opposite way, mm. that's going to get whatever hair had the nerve to not go anywhere, the opposite way, and just be careful, take a look, get up in there, if the baby hair starts going away, you feel like it's, it's not being protected you from that pain, protected you, it's not protecting you from the pain, put a little bit more baby powder on there, you'll be good, and then that's it. I usually wipe it down with like a, a cloth and like a little rose water or something like that just to clean up the powder and loose hairs that like came off. And that's about it. And five is the maintenance and the upkeep. How often are we doing this? I personally say uh, once a week, every seven days or every seven to ten days. The reason why I say every seven to ten days is you don't want to go too long to where you got to start all over again and then you got to wax, right? We're never waxing again. So the fact that we're going to maintain and upkeep just every seven to ten days, which is way better than shaving every five to three days, every time it grows in two seconds. Um, and just know the more you keep up with your maintenance, the less time it's going to take. So sometimes you might be done in five minutes. Sometimes if you wait longer, then you'll be done in 10 minutes. Um, so far, I've been doing it for about two months now. And just like every Sunday, we handle we handle the bikini line. That's basically what I do. Um, and it's since I do it that way, it's faster every time, like 10 minutes. But the first time I did it, it took like 
30 minutes, 45 minutes, almost an hour. So just know the longer you wait, the more long it's going to take. Okay? And the more it hurts because you have more hairs to get rid of. But that's it. That's all the advice I have on the bikini line, short and sweet. Um, next up, I could still do another review on the epilator, but I also got another trimmer. Mm, if you want to know about it, if you want to know what it is, um, comment below and I'll make a video about it. Because now that I'm back, I feel like I'm off track. Which, which videos do you want? Do you more DIYs, beauty hacks? I go to Trader Joe's every week. Those hauls can come out all the time, all right? And we might even do some YouTube shorts because I haven't done vlogs in a while and I wasn't going to ever do one again. But I feel like I could do a YouTube short vlog. Whatever you want to my friends on the tube, I miss you and I'm back. Comment below. Let me know how you're doing. And uh, I'm going to stop talking because it's time for you to watch another YouTube video from me or somebody else. Peace.